I'm going to give you some information about myself. Well, the thing is, is that I went through things as a child like we all do, but, uh, so, and, so, and, yeah, that, what kind of connection is that? Anyway, uh, I was around the Bible from a very, very young age, and I uh, grew up with some religion, Anglican church, Anglican uh, priests, and uh, no external stuff swayed me from uh, learning who my Heavenly Father was and who Jesus Christ was and what the Bible is. And so by the time I was 12, oh, by the way, I, we had a great big uh, two-foot picture of that picture of the man that they say looks like Jesus. Anyway, good, I don't know. You know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, but the reality is, is I dove into Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I had a little New Testament Bible, and I dove into those, and I dove into everything in that. If you read the New Testament, the whole New Testament, read it to, to understand it and believe God and pray. God knows your heart. Do you know your own heart? Really? If you pray to God and want to understand, King James Version, just go to the King James Version uh, and read the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yeah, I didn't touch Revelations. That ain't, no. I didn't touch Revelations. That's not written to me. But I didn't even know that. But I just didn't touch it. It's like, no, don't go, don't go there. Whenever I was reading, it's like, well, what about Revelations? Don't bother with Revelations. You read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians, Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, Peter, James, John, and Jude. Many times over, then you go to the biblical research ministry, the Way International, and they will fill in everything you need so you can have power. If you don't already have it, and if you haven't already received it while you're reading the, the New Testament, my brother told me, he said, he came back, he was in college, and he was 19, I was 12, seven years, right? And he goes, Jesus Christ is the, the bridge that spans the chasm. And I'm like, okay. You know, and I can see that. You know, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Right? And so I'm like, yeah, I see that. And that was my first glimpse of somebody speaking the word to me. That was like, you know, I, I could relate to it and I could connect to it because I had read that in the Bible. I, and, and not the Bible, you know, in the New Testament. And I had read about speaking in tongues. I had read about getting born again. I had read about being a son of God. The religious realm, denominations want to say, oh, you're saved. Being saved is like 10% of what God gave you. 10%. You want the other 90? You read the New Testament five times over with everything you can in your mind, remembering what you can remember, pulling out from the, from the New Testament what you can pull out to connect back into the New Testament. You know, like a switchboard. Oh, that goes over there, and that goes over there, and this goes over there, and that goes over there, and it all comes into an uh accumulation and if you're serious with your readings with god almighty in his new testament god will show you incredible beautiful things as you read it and then you go to the way international if and you will get your power 
You can get your power from many different places, but the way international is a biblical research, teaching, and fellowship ministry. If you put everything under the guidelines of religion, you're screwed. You're just screwed, man. Because it ain't all religion. God has his truth out there with power. Many different things like uh, uh, Hernandez, David Hernandez on YouTube. Okay. That dude does a, an incredibly beautiful job of showing you the power God has given you. Uh, uh, Kirby, uh, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, pro, apostle, prophet, evangelist. He's an evangelist. That's what he does. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is it. it that's that's his box. Praise God for his box. He's got a. He's got a platform. He's got a box and he's got a platform and he's doing it. God doesn't expect us to do it all. But he does expect us to do what we can do and get focused on. God loves focus. God loves focus. So therefore, how many minutes is this? I can't see it. 610. So therefore... You desire to do what you want to do because 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and 14, those three chapters in 1 Corinthians, it says, look, all this is available. All this is available right now to you. You decide what you want to do with it. You decide what you want to pick from it. Okay. And then it goes deeper. It says, yeah, but if you want it all, you can have it all. You can operate it all. When you live in love, God just keeps downloading on you what you know god what do you want me to do today that's a good place to start god what do you want me to do today after you've read the word after you've gotten into the scriptures to seal your mind up with strength the way international david hernandez uh giga david giga hernandez i believe it is g-i-g-a giga uh and kirby and there's a bunch out there there's a bunch that have the truth, but you have to decide in your mind, do you want religion, man-made doctrines, things to do, or do you want what God wants you to have from his New Testament? People are like, oh, are you saved? Uh, when I was real young, they're like, are you saved? I'm like, you know, I heard that. I've also heard born again, son of God, redeemed, sanctified, justified, righteous. Uh, anything else you're going to give me except, are you saved? Saved is 10% of what God wants you to operate. Okay, I'm not mad at anybody, but damn, religion is such a crock of shit. And if you can't see that, oh, well, I guess you don't want to see. Those that think they see are blinded because of the hardness of their hearts. God doesn't blind them. They blind themselves. Okay. So through religion, people get blinded and then they blame God because they don't go out on their own to seek God for themselves. What well, Moses? Moses was out there 40 years before he went back to Egypt to get the children. Okay. Does it say he was in a big conglomerate of individuals uh, knowing who God is? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, so therefore, the bottom line is do your own work. Get into the New Testament, King James Version. Read it. Believe God to show you. It's his book. Don't you want God to show you what's in his book? Okay. Then there's a lot of customs, manners, and figures of speech. You know, the way international has all this. Go to means come here. Okay. Idiom of permission for anything attributed to evil to God. Idiom of permission takes care of it. Okay. God allowed the evil to happen because their minds and their hearts and their thinking put them in that category. And God had to let them do that because it's free will. If you don't have the structure of how the Bible interprets itself and all the biblical uh, uh, guidelines, fence posts, so that you can get to the truth, 
It's an Eastern book. It's not a Western book. It's got mannerisms, customs, and figures of speeches. That's a beautiful thing to know. Uh, Bullinger, uh, uh, Casey Pillai, Bishop Casey Pillai, uh, Light Through an Eastern Window, Manners and Customs and Figures of Speech. Just look that information up so that you can have truth without it being uh, wrongly divided. God doesn't leave himself without witness. Oh, the Bible, there's so many versions. King James, you're pretty damn safe, okay? 90% of the Bible explains itself in the Bible, and then you have to look up a few things. But God is not stupid. You think you're smarter than God by going, oh, I can't understand it because God didn't write it right or have it written right. Hmm. Yeah, right there, you're walking down your own path. Go ahead. But you read God's word, believing God to show you. And really, you don't need anything. If you're born again, Romans 10, 9 and 10, you know, God wants to show you. Oh, people, if you could see God everywhere, you wouldn't miss him anywhere. If you could see God everywhere, you wouldn't miss him anywhere. Now, what do you have to tell your brain to see God everywhere? Where's God? Look at the beautiful nature. Look at our bodies. Look at water. Look at anything. Nothing exists without the Higgs boson, the God particle, and God is everywhere. Man wants to try and make himself God. Whatever. God wants us to do incredible things. I go on and on and on. Anyway, biblical research, the way international... David Gigi, uh, Giga Hernandez, uh, uh, Kirby, YouTube it. The truth is there. God is not going to leave himself without witness. And uh, I'm at 12 minutes. Holy crap. <sighs> and, and if you desire power from God, it's available. Speaking in tongues, tongues of interpretation, prophecy, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discerning spirits, miracles, healings, and other works. The five uh, gift ministries to the church and your five sonship rights. Righteous. Okay. You've been redeemed, sanctified. You've been redeemed, bought back with the price. You've been sanctified, set apart from the rest of the world. Justified in the highest court of law by God Almighty, the highest court in the universe, the highest court of law in the universe by God Almighty, you've been justified and righteous, stand before God Almighty without any sense of sin, guilt, fear, or condemnation. With the ministry of reconciliation, you think he's going to give uh, a bad word? Oh, well... You know, I was supposed to present this word, but it's not accurate. It's, uh, you know, you can't really trust it. Bullshit. You got the ministry of reconciliation. You got the word of reconciliation, God's Bible. King James Ber Version, I would suggest. What else is there? There ain't nothing left. You, you tell me some power that you'd like to have from God that is godly power that God doesn't put in his Bible, in his New Testament. Okay, the Old Testament, they were just existing for the most part. Okay, so bye-bye. Enjoy that.